Hey guys, welcome to the video. So just a few things before we get started. Um, this video is quite old, like three months old from when the tribe wiped Hydra. Um, and then I showcased some of the dinos that the tribe took from them. Uh, so this video is pretty old. Um, also, I know I've been gone for a while. I've been studying for my placement test for college. Um, so I've been pretty busy, but I'm back. So hey guys, what's up? Um, but anyways, let's get back back on with the video. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 random dinos that the tribe has stolen from enemy tribes. If we take a look at this entire floor, which is the cryo fridge um, area floor, pretty much I want to say maybe more than half of this are all stolen dinos that the tribe has um, either taken from other tribes during raids or griefs. Also, if we head upstairs, um, there are some more cryo fridges that are labeled D10, which means that the dinos that are stored inside there are the dinos stolen from Hydra when the tribe went and raided them. So I'll just show you with the name tag. So D10 dinos, D10 dinos. Um, I'll just scroll through one for you guys to check it out and see D10, not that one, Megalos. Um, here's another D10 cryo fridge. So pretty much there's just a few um, D10 cryo fridges stored up here as well. I'm gonna assume that the tribe has around maybe over a thousand stolen dinos taken from enemy tribes. So these dinos are here for people to use on griefs and raids if they don't have their own personal imprinted dino to use. And I'm one of those people. I just haven't had enough time to breed my own dinos like ever since that last really big breeding video I did a long time ago. Um, just pretty much because of school and getting ready for college. It's getting stressful. Anywho, to start this video, off I'm gonna be selecting 10 random dinos and we're pretty much just gonna examine their appearance their stats um, their history but yeah anyways let's get started with the video all right so I randomly selected 10 dinos that the tribe has stolen from enemy tribes like I said before but anyways we're first gonna start off with the first dino I choose you war hydra Ciao. There we go. Here's the first dino called War Hydra, um, level 349. So he's just pretty much a regular Rex. He has like green at the top um, of his back. Pretty, pretty uh, average looking if I do say so myself. He just looks like a normal Rex. Okay, let's check out his stats. For his stats, he has 30,000 health, um, 2,300 stamina, and 1,100 melee damage with an imprinting of 100%. And this was raised by Deadpool. It also has 300,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. Thank you. Okay, so on the left side, it has 2,033 random mutations. And let me just scroll through the ancestry thing for you guys. Um, if you guys want to pause it and take a look, go ahead. And then on the right side, it has 28,000 random mutations. And then I'll just scroll down the ancestry again. There we go. So that's pretty much it for the first dino, just in a normal looking Rex that's green. Um, but yeah, let's put this guy back into the cryopod and move on to the second dino. Get into the cryopod. There we go. Alrighty, let's check out the second dino now after my timer's up for my cryopod thing. Okay, moving on to the second dino. We've got a day of dawn. I choose you. Get out of the cryopod. Okay, so the Deodon low-key looks like a tomato. It's all cool though. We don't judge here. Um, so it has a bright green um, back with a bright orangish red stomach. All right, um, here we go. There's your face. Let's check out the Deodon snacks snacks stats <laughs> for its stats it has 8000 health 1000 stamina um 100000 food 700 weight 
um, with an imprinting of 0%, and this was raised by the 1-2. It also has 100,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has zero random mutations, and on the right side, it also has zero random mutations. Let me scroll down on its family ancestry. Let's put you back into the cryopod and move on to the third dino. Moving on to the third dino, we've got a Therizino. Pachow! The Therizino just has a green stomach and a tannish body, I want to say, but it looks pretty cool. I like the green color. So for the Therizino's stats, it has 14,000 health, it has 300 stamina, and for melee damage, it has 900, um, with the imprinting of 79%. So this was raised by Vobla. Sorry if I mispronounced it. For its XP, it has 400,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has 48 random mutations. And on the right side, it has 100,000 random mutations. And let me just scroll through the ancestry for you guys. Alrighty, so let's check out the next dino after my timer runs out. So there's going to be 200 seconds before I can um, check out the next dino, but... It's all cool. It's all cool. Let's, it'll be a second for you guys, but like maybe a little bit longer for me. We've got a another Rex. Pachow. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. So he looks pretty average. He's just green like the other Rex. Uh, let's check out its stats. For this Rex's stats, it's got 77,000 health, um, 2,000 stamina, and 800 melee damage with the imprinting of 73%. This was raised by Zoomka V2, and it has 100,000 XP. Let's check out its ancestry now. So for its ancestry, it, on the left side, it has 82 different or uh, random mutations. And let me just scroll down over here. And on the right side, it has 52 random mutations. And let me scroll down over here as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this Rex. It's just a... Uh, pretty normal looking rex looks like the other rex i showed you guys earlier um but yeah it's just a green rex okay get back into the cryopod my dudes okay come on i'm, I'm not that far away from you just just get into the cryopod there we go get in the cryopod there we go. And I'm going to assume that's going to turn nighttime soon. So I'm going to wait till nighttime's over. And then um, once it's daytime, I'll show you guys the next dino. All right. So it's somewhat daytime. Um, not completely daytime yet. It's kind of just turning into daytime. We're going to continue and move on to the next dino. So, da da! So this one's just an RG. Here is the RG. It's just a nice red. Um, RG. Okay. Anywho, this is what it looks like. I don't know. Is there something special? Uh, okay. Anywho, let's check out its stats. For its health, it has 20,000 health, um, stamina 2,000, and melee damage 500, weight 800. Okay. Anywho, with the imprinting of 50%, and this was raised by RKZ, it has 300,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has 1,100 random mutations and let me just scroll down do, 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 do. and on the right side it has 18,000 random mutations and let me just scroll down again there we go so overall it's just a normal red rg um but here it is Ta-da! Alrighty, let's get this guy back into the cryopod. For the sixth dino, we've got a Tapajara! Pachow! Okay, so, um, let's get this drop first. So it doesn't bother the background, you know what I mean? Okay. The Tapajara is like this nice, um... I don't know, like a limish green color. I think it looks actually pretty pretty. I mean, I've seen like cuter Tapajaras, but I mean, you're all right. You, you are all right. You've got like a little tint of color to you. So, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
you're okay you're okay um anyways so for its stats it has 12,000 health um 900 stamina and 400 melee damage um it was raised by athenia it has 91,000 xp now let's check out its ancestry so on the left side it has 400,000 random mutations and on the right side it has 33 million random mutations and let me just scroll down do, 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 do. there we go but that's pretty much it for this tapajara it's a nice color i like it personally not my favorite favorite tapajara i've ever seen but like it's it's i you know it's okay moving on to the seventh dino we've got a Giga! Okay, here's what the Giga looks like. It has like light purple and some teal on it. I actually think this looks super pretty. Um, but anyways, let's check out the Giga stats. So for the Giga stats, it has 32,000 health, um, 400 stamina, and 574 melee damage um, with the imprinting of 38%. And it was raised by box, 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 box. Um, anywho, it has 600,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has 88 random mutations. And on the right side, it has 22 random mutations. Um, there we go. Go and yeah, that's pretty much it for the Giga. It looks super pretty. I actually really like the color combination, like blue and purple. Looks really cute. Okay, anywho, let's put this guy back into the cryopod now. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Next dino we've got is another Deodon. Pachow. Okay, so this one looks a little bit different from the other one because it doesn't look like a tomato. Um, so it's just tan and I guess like, I don't know, is this like a darker brown or it's like black at the top? But anyways, this is what the Daydon looks like. Let's check out its stats. For its health, it has 6,000 um, stamina, 800. Food, it has 128,000. And um, with the imprinting of 0%. Um, it was raised by Kauzi, Kauzi, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and it has 700,000 XP. Now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has seven random mutations, and on the right side, it has 14 random mutations. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the day of dawn. There we go. Um... One last look of the, the piggy. Okay, you're going back into the crowd pod. I don't know if anyone will ever take you out again, um, but be thankful you are on an Ace Alpha video. Sorry, I was trying to wink right there, but that didn't really work because I'm not really that good at winking, but... Okay, anywho, moving on to the next dino. Next, we've got another Tapajara. Pachow. Okay, um, I mean... Aw, oh, man, I was hoping for a prettier Tapajara because there are some that are so pretty, but this one, not really. I, okay, anywho, it ha it's it's bright green, has some coral and um, blue on its fins, but yeah, that's, this is the Tapajara. Okay, um, not super impressed. I was hoping for some, like, pastel-y colors and all that, but okay. Um, let's check out its stats. So... Um, for its stats, it has 15,000 health, um, stamina 1,000, and melee damage 400. It was raised by Athenia, and it has 91,000 XP. Let's check out the ancestry. On the left side, it has 1 million random mutations. Let me just scroll down that ancestry there we go and on the right side it has 33 million random mutations and let me just scroll down do 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 there we go and that's pretty much it for the tapajara um it's it does i don't think the the I don't think the colors are really impressive, but um, you guys may have different opinions. But there we go. There's the Tapajara. Back into the cryopod. Goodbye. Do do do. Go go into the cryopod. There we go. Moving on to the next dino. For the last dino, we've got a Rex. So pachow. Come out, Rex. Okay, so actually, this Rex looks actually really pretty. Okay, let me get a nice view of it. 
So here is the Rex. It's a very pretty um, royal blue color. I actually really like this. It looks super pretty. Um, but there we go. That's what the Rex looks like. Let's check out its stats now. So for its health, it has 29,000 health, stamina 2,000, and melee damage 1,000 with an imprinting of 94% um, raised by Nyx. It has 200,000 XP. And now let's check out its ancestry. So on the left side, it has zero random mutations. Mutations, and let me just scroll down and then on the right side it has 23 random mutations and then let's scroll down from its family ancestry and there we go that's pretty much it for the last dino that's pretty much it for the video if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more um dinos that the tribe has stolen from enemy tribes during like griefs and raids make sure to thumbs the video up and comment down below that you would like to see that but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to thumbs the video up and also subscribe below to see more but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys later bye I want to know